Hey guys, it's Miss Thompson. Um, the strategy I'm going to be showing today is expanded method. And I've got two equations again that I'm going to model with. So for expanded method, we look at our numbers and we're going to show the value of um, the place that each number is in. So 48, if you listen closely, you kind of hear it 40. So we're going to write down 40 and then 8. Then 23, we hear 23. All right, so now we have shown the value of our ones place and our tens place in our two numbers in our equation. Now we're going to come over and we always start with our ones place when we add. So we're going to add 8 plus 3. I know that 8 plus 2 is 10, so one more is going to make 11. Then 40 plus 20. You can do it two different ways. You can do 40 and then count on by 10, so 40, 50, 60, or you can say 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 2 is 6. So either way should get, give you the same answer. And then we're going to add our 1s and 10s together. This right here can sometimes be tricky because you've got to make sure you're adding the correct um, place value and not adding your 1s with your 10s. So I like to re write it to where everything is lined up so I make sure that I solve it correctly and I'm going to say 0 plus 1 is 1 6 plus 1 is 7 so I'm going to go back up here and plug in my answer of 71 all right over on our next equation we have a three digit on top so just like we did before we're going to show the value of each place so when we say the number 634, if you say it slowly, you hear the numbers when um, you say it. So 634, then 75, we have 70. So here's the tricky part. We don't have no hundreds, so I'm not gonna write my 70 down below my hundreds. I'm gonna come over here and write it under 30 because that's my tens place. So 70, five and if it helps you can plug in a zero that way you know you don't have no hundreds when lining them up then again we start with our ones when we add we have four plus five that gives us nine we have zero plus zero is zero three plus seven is ten so we'll write ten then we have six hundred plus zero which equals 600. All right, so looking at my equation, I can see that I can combine two numbers automatically. So I know 600 plus 100 is gonna give me 700. So I have 700 plus nine. So I know I have no ones in 700, so I'm just gonna move that nine over and it's gonna give me 709 for my answer.